好 ，I'm Qi Mei. Welcome to Qi Mei Mandarin. Today, let's talk about the third most common mistake that people make when they are learning Chinese. So let me ask you: When you say "I'm good" in Chinese, should you say 我好 or you should say 我很好 If literally translated from English, "I'm good," you sound like you should say 我好 But actually, in Chinese, you have to add a "hen" in the middle. You should say "wo hen hao." So that's the right way to say. So how about you say、uh, "I'm beautiful"? Should you say "wo mei" or you should say "wo hen mei"? Okay, in this situation, it's the same. You have to add a "hen" in the sentence. You should. You only can say "wo hen mei." So think about like this.、Uh, so in Chinese, when you use this adjective to describe a person,、um, you we 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 have to add a "hen" in the middle to make the language sound more pretty. Sounds just you just you just think like like this way. So make it sound like the flow sounds more pretty,、uh, the tones, the pinyin, the flow sound、uh, connect together, make the、uh, make the Chinese sounds pretty. Then you have to add a hen in the middle. Okay, so so don't so let's let's look at、uh, more examples. Next one, I say,、um, he is cool. So you should say, he is cool. Or he is very cool. Okay, so、um, this is the same. You only can say he is very cool. So he is cool is wrong. Next example.、Um, he is busy. Should you say he is busy or he is very busy? He is busy sounds weird. So you have to add a "hen" in the middle. Make the Chinese sounds pretty. So he is very busy is the right way to say. Last example, he is tall. Should you say he is tall or he is very tall? So he is tall also sounds weird. You should say he is very tall. Okay. So remember that. In this kind of a situation, when you use a adjective to describe person, you have to you cannot just use the person and then the adjective. You have to use a "hen," put it in the middle, and then make the language sound more pretty. Okay, how will you want make the mistake again? See you next time. If you think you have learned something from me. Please subscribe my channel, and if you have any questions or、uh, difficulties about learning Chinese, please email me. I will always help you out. And、uh, also, I sub I post some、uh, pictures about Chinese, about my traveling, so、uh, on my other social media. So you can follow me on Facebook and Instagram, Twitter. They are all under Qi Mei Mandarin. See you next time. 再见。